Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little bit of a surprise unboxing from a mystery tackle box. And you know, I told y'all a while back that I'd canceled this box. Well, I didn't actually cancel it. I guess what I had done was put it on hold for a couple of months. And so anyway, whenever it arrived here, I was kind of like, you know, why do I have a mystery tackle box? But anyways, that's what it was. So I had to go back through and actually cancel it out. So uh, what we're gonna do is open this up, see what's in here. And also I've got another box that I actually went on there and bought some stuff. Uh, not very much, just a couple of items. But uh, anyway, whenever you go on Shop Carl's right now, if you're a clubs member, they have a five dollar item that you get can get, or they have a dollar item you can get, and I thought that was pretty cool. Plus, you know, uh, they're having all kinds of sales and stuff. But anyways, uh, so I kind of went on there and bought a few things. But anyways, let's start off and see what they sent in this box right here, this mystery box, and see what we got. Alright, well, there are some good items in here, I see, but I've seen this box before. This box <coughs> is probably not this month's box. It's probably, this right here is a, pre, a previous box. Uh, which is not bad. I mean, it's, it's still a good box, but anyways, first step, let's get into the card stuff. So I guess whenever you pause it or whatever, they start over. I don't know how that works, but, uh, I'm assuming that's what happens because that's what happened here. Uh, so anyways, you got your what's in the box card. Uh, here's the spotlighted item, which is the most expensive item also. The revolver, which is not a bad bait at all. Uh, it's kind of a plopper style bait. And then you got your dibbles. Uh... Yeah, so you, you could, this right here is a, uh, this was a summer box is what this was. Uh, so anyways, which is fine by me because I can either give them away or I can repaint them. Uh, this right here is the revolver. Anyways, really neat color, love that color. Uh, I forgot they call this one Shattered Shad really cool color uh probably one of my favorite color schemes from them to be honest with you anyway we'll go ahead and open this up like i said i've already got this but for the yet y'all that have not seen it i'll show it to you and this bait does work and it works pretty well actually uh not a bad deal at all you would think that this hook right here would actually get in the way, but actually whenever it comes through the water, the hooks fall backwards, so it tends to stay out of the way. And fish seem to hit it okay, you know. I mean, I'm not saying it's as good as a whopper plopper or anything like that, but it is a cool design on it. And, uh, yeah, it works. And, uh, but anyway... That's real cool. I don't know if I'll repaint that one. I'll probably give this one away. Because I do like the color scheme on that. And uh, it would be hard for me to paint over that. So somebody will probably get that in the next giveaway. Which is at 800 subscribers. We're only like 20 away or something like that. Thank y'all very much for that. Y'all have been subscribing like crazy, and I really do appreciate it. So like I said, you know, every hundred 
we do a giveaway and so this will probably be in the next giveaway it's uh like i said it's a top water it's four and a half inches long and weighs half an ounce not a bad bait next up this one i really do like uh i've had some pretty good luck on this little bait uh this come out i think last year or a year before last uh but anyways the, the excite bait xb1 and it dives two to five feet and it's three eighths of an ounce and it has a weight transfer system in it and the color of this is blushing shad and like i said i've already got like two or three of these i could repaint this or i can give it away like i said i'll probably throw this in the giveaway box to go along with the giveaway of the 800 subscribers when we get there good looking little bait uh nothing wrong with that at all uh I hate that they didn't send me a new box. Uh, I guess I'll just have to check and see what other people get this month. A mystery tackle box to see. But I'm pretty sure this is a old box. Unless they're resending out the old box. But anyways, that'll be in a giveaway. Uh, and then you get a little pack of Diachi hooks. Uh can't go wrong with that all right and then we got some bio spawn vial crawls really nice uh can't go wrong with these these are in sprayed grass four inches long you can use these a multitude of ways uh a trailer texas rig you know any way you want to but Anyways, this is a really good color. Probably one of my favorite colors to use from Bio Spawn. But anyways, if I have this color in this bait, I will be giving that one away. If not, I'll keep it. But I don't know. I've got a lot of different bait from them i can't keep up with what colors i have from where but all right next up we have a 3 8 ounce phoenix spinner bait the color of this is green pumpkin shed and this one's called the shore master And I want to say I've had this before. I'm trying to leave it stapled on there. That way, because I'll probably give this one away as well. Like I said, I think I've already got this one. But anyway, pretty good looking little spinner bait, really. Got a green pumpkin head. Uh. Got a standard keeper on there. Uh, got some uh, weird spacers in between the blade, but got a little video blade and then a, a normal size willow up there. So not too bad. Uh, got a four lot gamma zapsu spinner bait hook on it uh anti-rust so anyways it seems to be made pretty good we've gotten baits from them before and they i think they are the ones that made that one spinner bait that i really like that's like the gambler ninja it's got those weird blades on it but i'm not sure that's exactly them or not but i do know that we've gotten other baits from this company before 
So anyways, there's that one. I'm going to throw that in the giveaway. And last but not least is uh, some Samantha's Baits, which is a good bait company. They're, you know, a small company, but they make good little baits. What are these called? The Samantha's, uh, the Swim Mantis. So anyways, this right here, it's a little video swim bait. Got the little low paddle tail back there. Got a little hook slot. Got a little belly slot. Looks like a green pumpkin. And uh, seems to be, what, six? Yeah, six of them in there. So anyways, if I don't have this, this will go in the giveaway as well. And that is the box. They didn't, they didn't give me a sticker, some losers. But anyways, I've canceled this time for sure. But anyways, that box right there will be pretty much a giveaway box. Like I said, unless I don't have the color of the bio crawl. That'll be about the only thing that probably comes out of there. But I do think I already have that color, so you probably don't have to worry about that. Next up is the stuff that I bought, I ordered myself. Let's get into that. So I got in there what I ordered. Alright, so first up, I'm going to start off with uh, what they had for $5, which I thought was really cool. This is uh, the Tackle Honker Frog. Uh, and as you can see, it's got little metal feet on little swivels. Uh, it says on the back, it says, catch, kiss, and release. Do not mistreat bass. And this one is called Black and Blue. But anyways, this is a really cool looking little frog. And uh, I've looked them up and they're pretty high priced. $5 ain't bad at all. That's actually really cheap. But anyways, you can see. It's a real nice flush. Flush bodied frog. And then the little feet are made out of metal and they're black and then they have a little weight down here uh i don't know about the hole though, right there they got that hole uh normally i seal them off with like super glue or something that way i ain't gonna deal with water but tackle seems to know what they do with, with their frogs so i'll leave it alone for now and then you can see it's not straight, so I don't know what that's about, but anyway, maybe it's the way it sits in the water with these legs, but anyways, pretty good, cool looking little frog, nothing left, I like the color on it as well, and uh, so I bought that, that was their $5 item, and I looked online and they're going for like 8 or 9 bucks, so. I don't find that bad at all. And I noticed this year they put a limit on how many you can get of like their dollar item and their five dollar item which is like five. Because I know that people were like buying like the crap out of them and reselling them on eBay and stuff. Which kind of sucked because it leaves a lot of people without being, being able to get any. And so I'm kind of glad that they did that. The dollar item was the Sakoshi bug, and it was in the color of blue crawl. And that's actually one of my favorites, other than the coffee crawl. I like the coffee crawl as well. But you didn't get to pick a color or anything. They picked it for you. And uh, so this was the dollar item which normally these are three dollars and some change so not bad but anyways there's the little sakoshi bug 
really good little Ned Rig bait. It's soft and stretchy. Uh, one time I did get a bad batch of these in, and when I went to stretch them, they like broke apart like easily. So I do know that they changed the formula up since. But anyways, that is uh, what you got for a dollar. Like I said, I could have bought five packages of them, but I don't need that many. I've got like two or three of this color, so that I'll add another one. That's if I don't add it to the giveaway. <clears throat> Next up, uh, they also added some new baits onto their website, which was really cool. They added this the Strike King Bitsy Bug Mini Jig. And this is a eight ounce, and the color of this one is a hot crawl which is a really cool little color can't go wrong with that i like them little micro jigs next up they also added to their website the strike king red eyed shed which you know i didn't notice until i was looking through my box the other day i don't really have a whole lot of red eyed sheds and uh so i'm gonna start picking up some this one is the black and gold yeah gold black back and it's a half ounce so there's a better look at it right there anyways they, they added a whole bunch of new uh strike king stuff i've noticed like Every month they've been adding like, like one company's, like a whole bunch of one company's stuff. Like they did it with Berkeley and then now it's Strike King. So anyways, the last item I got was uh, the Berkeley Stunner. I only have one of these and it's because my buddy Neil Bone, he sent one to me and I think he sent it to me in Table Rock. Uh... This one is uh, Stone Cold. I really wanted this one. And it is a uh, half an ounce, four and three eighths inches long, slow sinking, three to six feet. And there that one is. The next color I'll be getting will be the, I think they call it Phantom. It's like a blue green color. But these things are, up there in price that's why I don't have a whole lot of them but anyways let's take this, this off here oh maybe but I ain't heard of any, any bad things about the uh, Berkeley Stunner I fished it once or twice and it seems to perform well i didn't catch any fish on it but anyways could have been just the color or the day you know but here is the stone cold it almost looks like a pro blue but it does have a little bit of different colors in it so you can see that little weight transfer system in it and uh Anyways, you can't ever go wrong with Berkeley items, so, uh, yeah, so that is, uh, it. That is what I ordered, like I said, it was a small order, but I figured I'd show it to you since we had that unexpected mystery box, and I hope y'all enjoyed, and also thank y'all for all the prayers and everything that y'all sent to me about my grandma passing away. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, everything will get better from here on out. Uh, I'm sorry I had to take like a week off and all that stuff, but we'll get back on track. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all thought about everything. And I will see y'all on the next one.